Hey, what's up with it's your boy Yellow Bees? I'm here with Trashies. Let's talk some trash. What is the most unattractive thing a woman can wear? Most unattractive thing a woman can wear? Probably some big ass platform shoes or something. Or like some old fashioned ass clothes to me. Like if you young and you dressing like in some old ass granny looking clothes. Now I ain't saying like you can't wear like your own style, but like you know how people dress old type shit and they just you just they just out of sync with what they wearing type shit. That's what I mean by. It. So if you come and you find but you got some old fashioned looking clothes or even shit your hair looking crazy like. Your wig twisted or, or your weave ain't right. That shit just unattractive. Like, your hair gotta be right. You know what I'm saying? Like, having your shit all the way down to your fucking eyebrows. Like, we ain't doing all that. Have your weave correct, your clothes correct, and uh, your shoes too. What is the first thing you notice about a woman? Ass. I'm looking for that booty and teeth. Booty and teeth. No bullshit. Like, me, I, 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 you gotta have the junk in the trunk, so. I'm looking for that bubble back there, but I also need your teeth clean and looking nice. You'll uh, overlook the face if she got like a, like a little dump on her, like... Niggas done hit some butter heads before. <laughs> Niggas done hit a butter face before. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I done, I done took one for the tea, you know. Sometimes, you know, it was just, back in the day, boy, I ain't gonna lie, Lord just, Lord bless me to have standards these years I matured and grew, cause I ain't gonna lie, we did some fucked up shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you were on death row, what would be your last meal? I rebuke you saying we ain't going on death row. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about no goddamn death row, but my favorite food is nachos. But I rebuke you, Satan, I bind thee. What is something weird that you enjoy? I like the hurt, I like the sound of Tupperware. Like when people tap on Tupperware, that makes sense. Sometimes I like the smell of gas, like the uh, gasoline. I don't know, that shit kind of weird to me though. You like that shit? <laughs> like for some reason, I don't know. I like the, the like sometimes I like the smell of gasoline, but for some reason, like the tapping on Tupperware, I don't. It's like soothing to me or some shit. What is your biggest pet peeve? I hate a habitual liar. Like a motherfucker, they just lie for no reason. Like it'd be different if you like lying for a reason sometimes. But you know how people just make up lies that just invite you into their lies. Just just wake up, just lying for no reason. Like yeah, bro, sudden such just kind of. But I'd be like, bro, what's the point of that shit? Like, I don't understand people who just like, literally just wake up to lie. Like, just invite you into they bullshit madness or uh, whatever trauma they got going. Cause that shit be stupid as hell. Like, nigga, I ain't asked you to lie to me. You came to me, approached me lying. That's, that's the bullshit I don't be fucking with. A good reason to lie? You never supposed to lie to your girl. If, you know, you get caught up. It's not the reason to lie, but it's like a nigga gonna lie. If you get caught up on some shit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna lie to the end, fellas. Lie to the end. What is the pettiest reason you lost interest in someone? Pettiest reason, probably uh, the shoes that they were wearing. You can't come around, be pretty, and have some busted ass shoes on. Like, I don't take nothing from some, nobody, but. Oh, and being too dingy. Like, you know how you motherfucker just like, just dingy, like, just person that just like, don't act like they just like a real blonde, like a Marsha, Marsha, Marsha type shit. You don't know what Marsha, Marsha, Marsha is? Dingy, like, a, a slow, like a motherfucker act like they down there slow, like they, like a blonde. You can't tell them nothing, like they, you, like, it's crazy, like, I don't know, like a person who really, like they don't, they lack common sense. Like, the sense ain't coming to them, like, it's, the shit don't add up. Like the regular shit, like they just really just retarded down there. Like that, uh, that shit pissing me the fuck out. Yeah, like a, like you ain't seen uh, Brady Bunch, how Marsha was a blonde, like she was just dingy. Or like, like you say, Waldo or like Cole for Martin, like the dingy motherfucker. Like a girl who just super dingy, that's just a turn out to me. What is your biggest turn on? A submissive woman that cater to her man and know how to treat him and know how to pick her man up if he down or just wherever he going through, just like can be there like in a prison, like kind of like, yo, yo, yo queen uplift you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's one of the biggest thing, a person, a woman that's submissive and can look after her man, know how to say the right thing, know how to treat you. Who that a drive nigga wild? On top of you, on your shit and you fine too? Man, that's the best shit in the world. But the listening part, y'all understand the listening. Cause women don't listen, so if you get somebody that listen, oh lord. Do you tip every time you go out? Restaurants or something? Oh yeah, yeah, uh-huh, I tip. The biggest tip? I don't know, I done passed out hundreds before. Uh, probably a couple hundred, probably, I don't think, I don't think it was like, probably like three, four hundred probably. Oh, if other people, we gonna, we, like if we all match down together, then that, we'll live like a big ass tip, but like if I'm like on a, on a date or something, like I'll leave a couple hundred. What makes a woman childish? Just the pettiness of not 
being able to be accountable for what she do and thinking she can do whatever she wants to you and expect you not to do what she don't want you to do to her, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, like, yeah, type shit, like, uh, basically just like, you know, a motherfucker who, who play the blame game, but then when you tell them they wrong, they get all mad or they can't take the heat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a person who just do child of shit, like if you mad and they try to like purposely provoke you type shit, like, and not in a way like where y'all can laugh about it, but like try to trick you off the streets type shit or like cause some type of friction in any type of way. Childish too, when you get the going on the internet and putting the people in the building, calling everybody, putting everybody in your business type shit. Like that shit childish as fuck to me. Like you ain't supposed to be telling nobody what we got going on. If you spilling negativity into these folks, they ain't gonna speak no life into you. They gonna only go by what you tell them and that's because you telling them bullshit and you're not telling them the part where you fucked up or did some fucked up shit. So they change the narrative when you don't tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So now you got all your homegirls and your, and your partners looking at us wrong, looking at me crazy, when you the one who been starting this bullshit and then when I tell them what's really going on, you're looking goofy as hell. You know what I'm saying? That's childish. Keep them folks out of that business, especially if you know you're coming back home, motherfucker. As you get older, what do you have less and less time for? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like just going to the neighborhood chilling, like I'm kind of more on my family shit uh, and just being with my kids. So like for us, me just hanging like I used to or like being in the clubs, if I ain't booked, like I definitely don't do that. But like just hanging, just, just to be hanging type shit. Like I'd rather be in my son, football practice or with the kids like training or doing something, you know what I'm saying? Or playing a game with my kids or something. I ain't got really time to just be just dry hanging no more like I used to or just go, like I, I just, sometimes we used to just go gamble or shoot dice and just do something, you know what I'm saying, with the fellas. But now it's kind of like we older, we all got families, we all trying to, you know what I'm saying, just switch a lot of shit up. So if I ain't just, in the club, I mean, if I ain't booked, I ain't in the club. If I ain't, if I'm at the, uh, in my in my city or if I'm at home, shit, I'm with my kids or something, my family, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do too much hanging no more. What is the most trifling thing you ever witnessed? Niggas back stabbing they partners, niggas um trying to set they partners up, niggas on some betrayal shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit happened a lot more than what y'all know. And just like, it's just like, how can you set up a, you know what I'm saying, like slide on your people? A nigga that'll, that'll look out for you, then gave you this or gave you that, you know what I'm saying? I think that's one of the most lowest shit you ever do, like cross the back of, like cross, like cross out a nigga that you know for a fact that would've looked out for you. Or, or you could ask a nigga, but you would rather rob him or steal from him in any type of form or fashion. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, betrayal, I, that's some lame shit. I don't fuck with that. Like no fuck nigga against me shit prosper. I don't like that. Like that's one like, Niggas, like, when you really, like, fuck with people and they, like, show a side, like, like, damn, you really could have crossed them or you really could have done that. Like, you got to be wearing snakes. So that's one of the biggest things, like, crossing your people, like, doing some unforgivable shit. Like, that's one of the most lame shit a nigga can do in my book. How do you know someone from your city? It's our lingo. It's just a way that we dress in, like, a, a different type of demeanor. So, like, you kind of know a Dallas person, the way that they say certain words or, um, or it just dress a certain type of way. So you definitely, that's going to, like, stand out, like, automatically type shit. Nigga saying shit like, girl, there, uh, already type shit, uh, huh? Yeah, bro, yeah. Nigga going bro, 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 bro. Yeah, bro this, bro that. Nigga going bro a nigga down. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like how we pronounce our words, too. But it's a lot of, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck up and then when I come back and watch this shit, it's gonna be like, damn, why the fuck I ain't thinking them words like out the muscle? Um, scoring, yeah, like if a nigga like, how people be saying y'all capping or y'all ranking on people, we say scoring. Like nigga, fire your ass up, you know what I'm saying? When they get to say I'm fire your ass up, oh, you trying to score, oh, you trying to score? That's some Dallas shit. Uh, what's the be your best piece of dating advice? Keep people out your business. Like I say, uh, like I said before, you gotta know what to tell people, know not what to tell people. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta watch who you be around and who you get get advice from and who you give advice to. Also, but you just keep people out your business. The less they know, the, the, the better for y'all. Because like when y'all going through y'all situations, y'all might come across a problem that you tell to somebody else, they won't forgive them. But as soon as you forgive them, forgive your significant other or your whoever you dealing with, they still gonna hold a grudge and y'all be back together. You know what I'm saying? So the best thing. To do keep people out y'all problem keep people out y'all life whatever y'all go through y'all go through between yourself even if y'all gotta get a counselor get a counselor but just keep y'all business to yourself don't look um 
look at how other people's relationship is and try to compare y'all to, to them because comparison is like, what they say, what's they saying? Like comparison is the, uh, it, yeah, it's thief of joy. Yeah, comparison is thief of joy. So don't ever try to compare what you and yours doing compared to other people or feel like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be in competition with people. Go at your own pace, you know what I'm saying? Love each other how y'all wanna be loved and don't give a fuck about what nobody else say. I promise you, it'll be a good lasting relationship. Hey, what's up with it? It's your boy, Yellow Bees. I just wrapped it up with Trash Talk and if it ain't trash, it's trash.